Hey guys, welcome back. So this is gonna be practice three. This is gonna be a third type of division strategy that you could possibly use when dividing by whole numbers. Um, this strategy is called partial quotient. So this, if you're familiar with the multiplication strategies, this might sound like partial product. However, this one is gonna be with division. So when we're talking about partial quotient, we are going to break apart what we do know how to, to how to divide to find our quotient or our answer. So you'll need a piece of paper, you'll need something to write with, and then as always, you may pause whenever you feel necessary, and then you may unpause to either check with my work or to follow along. So we're gonna still use the same um, dividend and divisor that we have been using um, for the other practices. So 348 divided by 32, if you wanna go ahead and write that down. And then we know that our divisor goes on the outside because that's how many groups we're gonna see fit into our dividend, which in this case is our larger number, 348. So with partial quotient, um, and this one will be kind of quick, um, but just remember, you can always go back and look at the heading on this slide, and you can see another example of what partial quotient looks like. Um, but where you want to start here is you want to think, what number could I easily multiply my divisor by and get as close as possible or as close as I can off the bat to this dividend? So I always like to start with 10 because I know that I'm just going to make this value of my divisor 10 times more, which really is just like putting that zero in our ones place and moving everything to the left. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start there. I'm going to think, okay, well, I know that if I do 10, 10 times my divisor of 32, then that's going to be 300. 20. So when I find a value that is close to my dividend, then I'm just going to subtract like I would in um, the long division strategy. And I am going to subtract 348 minus 320. Well, I know 8 minus 0 is 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. And 3 minus 3 is nothing. So I'm left with 28 here. Now, normally, um, this would probably keep going. Like, for example, in the strategy that is attached to this slide in the title, um, we would keep having numbers that we could divide by. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add up all of the numbers that you multiplied by. So in this case, we only multiplied times 10. So I would know that with partial quotient, my answer is going to be 10 with a remainder of 28, because I know that 32 cannot be multiplied times anything to equal 28. 28 is less than 32. So I have my answer. <laughs> 